project's moving along. It's great. We've been working so hard here, uh, plugging away uh, things, and it's been a mess. You know, war zone here. Kind of apologized. We just, you know, went through and cleaned up some stuff and do that. Something they're supposed to do every day. I'm the worst enemy of that. But uh, anyhow, thanks for coming and joining me again. You know, today we got Larry Seema, uh, Seema Well Drilling, and he's going to talk about what kind of well we need for this house. Uh, our project is rural, so we have a septic system and we will have a well system. So there is not, uh, you know, public, everything would be private. And so we're going to interview with him. He's going to give us some ins and outs and what to look forward on that. Let's go meet him. Hey, Larry, how you Hi. doing today? Hi, Dave, how you been? All righty, all righty, good. good. Hey, thanks for coming down, I appreciate that. You guys are busy rocking and rolling, but uh, no I just problem. wanted to see the project and see what's going on okay. and get an idea yep. for access and, and yeah, what's happening. Yeah, no, that, where's the well going to be going? Uh, right in this vicinity right here. I have a print inside. Maybe that would say better than me just saying oh. <laughs> roughly where it is. Yeah, but. no, definitely. Let's go look at the print. Yeah, so I have the print over here. Right. Maybe we could take a look at that and get an idea where the well and the engineer had, had thought about it. Okay, doke. So this is uh, kind of what we have here. Uh, the driveway was drawn in from this side, and we have a temporary entrance as we drove in. You oh, saw, okay, so saw my it. pickup's parked over here. Yes, yes, right. and so that's very similar to that well location. All right. So um, what are the concerns about the well location or, or well the engineer took into consideration to keep the well within a 75 foot radius on your property oh, okay right. the, the health department likes to see that that way there's no influence from neighbors mm. possibly putting a garden and putting pesticides over here next to your well or something like okay. that so yeah. they keep it on your property and they keep that 75 foot radius which is the state law mm -hmm. So we have to keep it away from your septic system of mm. 75 feet, mm. um, footing drains, any type of drainage, any source of contamination for the well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Never really thought of that part of it. No, nope. so they think of everything mm -hmm. for our oh. safety. Oh, good, oh, good. So now, anyways, this, this is a nice wide open area right there, mm -hmm. so we, we won't have any problem getting the drill rig in that area. Okay. All right, good. Yeah, see, part of the thing was about the driveway being in the front that we were going to excavate the back and take a lot of material, try to level the backyard and use that to, you can see, look in the topo okay. here, we yep. had a, quite a, a grade coming up there in the front. Did you hit any bedrock when you were digging we the We did basement? not, but there were some big potatoes back in here, so okay. uh, we didn't have to blast or do anything like that. Okay, so. well, we only have to worry about hitting possible bedrock. If you're, if you're going to excavate some of this dirt out, we still mm -hmm. want to be able to keep 42 inches of cover on the well line into the house. Oh yeah, for freezing, right? For, for, for yeah. frost prevention, yep. Yeah, 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 I don't want to have to heat tape that thing, so. No. Exactly, exactly. So. Now, now, is there a, a grading? Does that make an issue? Should the well always be up uh, higher than the, the, the state? You... The state law is six to 12 inches above grade okay. for the wellhead. Mm -hmm. So that keeps bugs Lawnmowers. <laughs> okay, right, all that. Yeah. People driving their car over the top <laughs> yeah, of Right, it. right, right. Yep. Well, the other thing, what I was talking about, the septic, it, it, could it be backwards and the septic actually be higher, even though I got my 75 feet, that the elevation doesn't matter? Yes, no, it, it, they don't like it, but it, it can be. Okay. You have to work with what you got, as long right. as you have, the, their separation distance is lateral. It's yeah, got okay. nothing to do with elevation. Okay, yeah. And ours, it works to our favor because the grade yeah. is going down. Exactly. And so that. Yeah, Larry, I know you guys have uh, drilled a lot of the wells in the area. How is the water quality in the water table? Is it good well, or not so good? Or? There, there are issues in this area. Mm -hmm. um, not so much here, but as you get closer to the river. Okay. Okay. Um, I pulled our records of the wells that we have in the neighborhood, and most of the wells are around between 250 and 300 feet deep. Mm -hmm. it's, in, it's in granite. Right, okay. Um, and the yields anywhere from five to 10 gallons a minute. Okay. As you get closer to the river, mm -hmm. we have to worry about salt water influence because yeah. the river is, is brackish, brackish yeah, in this yeah. part. So mm -hmm. you always have the possibility of getting brackish water if we're too close to the river and we hit a fracture that right, right. Is, is fed by that area. Mm -hmm. 
Well, what are the other concerns? You know, is there a problem with water quality then? Or? Well, there may be. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, you, you may have a well with iron, high iron or high manganese or hard, hard water. Right. Um, you can't, you don't know until you drill the well, right. and then you have it analyzed at the lab, and they'll break it down and they'll tell you what your levels of, of each are. Right, okay. Okay, right. and then you can determine whether you need a water conditioner. Oh, okay, all right. right. Um, sometimes pH comes into factor. Mm -hmm. That means sometimes you might have to change the pH right. of the water before you can take out the iron and the right, manganese. Right, right. Your, your scale here is one inch and 20, so mm -hmm. th this well is um, 40 feet off of that corner of the garage and 40 feet off of that corner of the garage. So we'll go out and, and pick these two corners mm -hmm. and tape measure and we'll, we'll just swing an arc and we'll okay. pick that spot and we'll put a stake in. Okay, perfect. And then perfect. I'll apply for the permit. Well, good. Okay. Yeah. And how long does that usually take for the, the... The permit, as long as we go by what's here, it should take three to five days. Okay. Well, that was great. Larry, thank you. I okay, appreciate Dave. that. So uh, we could go out and stake out that well. And I'll go out and stake it out. All right. And we'll go from there. All right. Well, thank you. All right. Appreciate your time. Okay, we'll thanks. look forward to uh, seeing the machine here. All right. Bye. All right. Good. Good. That was great. Larry gave us some good information there, you know, what to look forward to, what are some of the, in Connecticut, here are state codes and setbacks and all that kind of stuff. And so it looks really good. Now, actually, we're going to talk to Mike Angelisti about the septic system. We kind of have both people here, the guy who's drilling the well that we're going to pull the water out of the ground and the place to put the water after it's used. So that's great. So stay tuned.